<laughs> Robin. Very, very busy morning today. Rich Voss in studio, Joe Rogan in studio, the amazing racist in studio. And I'm looking at Jed right behind you, Anthony. Yep. I love Jed. How are you guys? Good. They're, good. they're uh, men of their word, by the way. Or yeah. men of their uh, words. Because they were supposed. you guys were supposed to come in over the summer. Yes. We thought we were getting the big blow-off. Is the mic on for him? I got uh, I got sick. I got laryngitis. Yeah, cause, well, we've heard, that, you know, Ant and I have been doing radio and Jimmy for a very long time, and we've, no offense to you guys, we've heard those excuses from bands and stuff, so we're like, <laughs> oh, God, here comes the big blow-off. The lead singer's sick. <laughs> and Steve's like, no, he really is sick. He's got a real problem, and uh, they, they're promising they're going to come back, and here you are, so bravo. What, what was the problem? Man of our words. Man of our words. What was the problem, though? You had a, a throat thing going on? I had laryngitis, and then it developed into throat nodules, which uh, we ended up having to cancel about three weeks of... Ow. How does one get throat nodules? Um, it's like calluses. You get a callus on your vocal cords. Uh, Jimmy? From over, over work. <laughs> Wait, now, do you get rid of them? There's a couple ways to get rid of them. One is you can have them surgically removed or lasered, and one is you could just like yeah. not talk for six months and they go away, right? Isn't that a way to do it, too? I caught them early on, and I just had to... Um, I had to not talk for a few day, few days, and uh, just st I had to steam my voice every every day, like a few hours a day. Yeah, your singing style definitely is like rough on the on the throat, right? Yeah, it's pretty just it's just annoying, you know? yeah. Yeah. You got to stop smoking and stop drinking and stop stop eating spicy foods and pretty much everything that all the all the joys of life. It was most all the fun most stuff. Frustrating because the um. You know, because it was just kind of, it was all, it all happened at the very beginning of the, you know, the second album, kind of like t the tour and everything. So, that was yeah. A big pain in the yeah, the timing was yeah. bad for you guys. So long. Yeah. You, got the, you guys had that massive uh, debut, massive, and then uh, the second CD is called Shine On, right? Yeah. Yeah, right on. And you guys, uh, you want to play the, the single from uh, Shine On? Or? Uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do three songs, is that right? All right. What do you want to do first? We're going to kick it off with uh, the oldie but a goldie. How you bring my girl? Oh, yeah. Now? <laughs> yeah, we go now, yeah? Yeah, we, yeah we, we segue into the music very easily here, okay. like a freight train. Off <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the yeah. silence start. Whenever, yeah. you're, whenever you're ready. Cause you look so fine that I really want to make you mine I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine Go buy sales, come on and get your kiss Say you don't need money when you look like that, do you, honey? Are you gonna be my girl? One, two, three, say my hand to come with me because you look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. Yeah, you think I look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need a money with a face like that.
said, are you gonna be my girl? My girl. Damn. Nothing wrong with the voice there, sir. And it's early, too, right? It's yeah. early for you guys. It is pretty early. <laughs> yeah, it's rough to sing early, right? Man. How how uh, how are you guys on the road with the girls? I mean, you guys, I'm all looking at you're all I'm not you know you're all young handsome fellas. I mean, you got to be just animals on young the road. Handsome fellas. I'm serious. You know, we had Wayne Newton and we figured he's not doing it anymore, but we get uglier as that goes on. Huh? Doesn't matter though when you're when you're rock stars, man. That's the beauty of being rock stars. <laughs> it's true. Someone, a wise man once likened being in a band to it's like the male equivalent of having massive breasts. <laughs> that kind of works. Plus the accent, the girls just. Oh. It's better than that because you can just have massive breasts and be a fat chick, and that's no good. <laughs> it's way better than just having big breasts. <laughs> right on. Yeah, you ever lift a fat girl's breast? It smells like lamb underneath. Jim's <laughs> <laughs> oh, all about the smells today. Yeah, yeah, right on. These guys are from Melbourne, by the way. Okay, Melbourne. Melbourne. I say Melbourne. Melbourne. I'm a typical uh. New Yorker. Melbourne. Is that from Melbourne? Typical American. Uh, <laughs> so the new CDs uh, shine on. You guys want to do one from that? Yeah, we're gonna do the title track off it now. All right, here's Jed once again and shine on on the Opie and Anthony show. Please don't cry. Oh! 
CD shine on the uh, of course title track. God, I wish my girlfriend was here so I could hug her. <laughs> no, it's a love ballad and it's in a room full of guys is what I'm getting at. <laughs> Ari will hug you. Jimmy had a lighter out. Yeah, we all had our lighters nice. out. Really good, man. We're looking around the room. Well, who can we hug? Uh, why don't we have a group hug? You need a hole. You guys need a hole. Just <laughs> yeah. So see, that's what a hole is good for for the show. Uh, Jet, that, guys, that was unbelievable. Tour dates, your uh, Starland Ballroom tonight in Jersey. That's right. And then uh, the Chance in Poughkeepsie tomorrow. Uh, well, that would be a couple days from now. So I guess Saturday night. And and how how do people get tour dates? I guess, uh, go to the website. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just go to the uh, website. It's uh, all there, MySpace. The What's the website? <laughs> Jettheband.com. Jet. Oh, boy, you can get Jet.com, huh? When you guys started, you ever dreamed that Poughkeepsie was possible? <laughs> I don't even think New York was possible, man. So Poughkeepsie is uh, it's kind of a cool place. I mean, like, isn't that where those those um innocent fellows got shot? Probably. Oh, mm. Is that is that Poughkeepsie? Could have could have happened there. Fellows sure got shot. Happened. No, Nuremberg by the police. <laughs> <laughs> no, the police. Right, just, just like, like oh, that's, oh, that's Queens. That's Queens. Oh, 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 oh yeah, oh, Queens. Oh, Poughkeepsie, Queens. <laughs> Queens <laughs> is civilization. Yeah, Poughkeepsie's yeah. a little bit far up. I mean, I've done gigs there before. It's all right. It's it's not a great, not a great city, but you know, if you're doing a gig, fine. Yeah. yeah. You guys got uh, one more in you? Yes, we do. All right. Mm. Once again, it's Jet. The new CD is Shine On. Uh, what are you guys gonna do now? I this is uh this is called skin and bones skin and bones
Once again, Jet. Very good. New CD is Shine On. Very good, guys. Awesome. Thanks for coming on the Opie and Anthony nice. show. Really great, man. Here's a corny, awful question. Biggest influence? Yeah. Uh, so many. I mean, one, two, I reckon. Uh, the Wiggles, I would uh, guess. Wiggles, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. The Wiggles. Gray Wiggle. <laughs> Gray Wiggle. Got some Wiggle fans? Uh, I think, I think the, Beatles, like, the Beatles have to honestly be like... You know, yeah, you, I, we hear a little Beatles in there, certainly, yeah. You just yeah. can't deny how, uh, how brilliant they were. I think every single band's influenced by the Beatles, either directly or indirectly, you know, whether or not they're aware of it, they are. You know, even uh, I was MSNBC recently, uh, whoever wrote that article should really have his feet cut off. So yes, Pantera, uh, Pantera no Beatles influence whatsoever. Uh, uh, it said that Sabbath should not be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I had to throw that out there. So whoever you are for MSNBC, I hope you die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. We, we want to thank Jet for stopping by. It's uh, a great job. Jetband.com. Jet the band. Jetttheband.com for tour dates, okay? All right, right on. Uh, we'll continue with Joe Rogan and Rich Voss. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Rob, bitch, rock, rock. 